I sit here and I just think it's a beautiful place. It's a, a beautiful place that I am so proud that the community is using. And it is the community's building because they have paid for it and they are attending. If you have a building and nobody comes, it's no good. We are so fortunate. We have a wonderful staff. Um, and it's taken years to develop that. And they know so much and they can take care of all the problems. You know, somebody like me, I, I know nothing about this kind of, of work. But it's very involved. You don't realize from the lighting panel to the sound equipment to the condition of the curtains and the painting and any moisture problems that you would have, the condition of the seats. You know, you put somebody in a building like that and it's amazing, they will take care of it. It's amazing what a few hundred thousand dollars and some vision will do for you. First of all, backstage, uh, you know, we as travelers, traveling musicians and traveling theatrical troops, um, you know, people understand the best and the hardest of times out here on the road. It's not exactly like home when you travel. So to have a nice dressing room, a nice place to have, to visit with people, uh, to do meetings during the day, to have, you know, food. And uh, that's happened, that's always kind of been here, but this time I pulled it and went, wait a minute, somebody wrote a check. <laughs> and it's really nice backstage. And then I look around this theater that all the touch-ups that have been done, it just you know, amplifies the beauty of it. So it's, it's great. The Paramount's been one of my favorite places to play. Uh, it's, personally, it's really important to me that we hang on to places like this. You know, this is history. Uh, you know, we can't forget that. And I, I worry sometimes that across the country we're losing uh, great theaters like this because everybody wants to put in a parking lot or they want to do, a, you know, apartment buildings or whatever. And I, to, to, to lose something like this, I mean, to look around at the walls and, you know, see still some of the original mortar and stuff, you, 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 can't, you can't tear that down. I mean, that's, this, is, this was a place that was a part of people's lives and still is. Uh, I think if you were to ask any entertainer, they would much prefer this uh, type of venue. You know, I've been fortunate enough in my career to play arenas, theaters, and without a doubt, hands down, the theater is my favorite place to play. I think that we have to really be careful about what we're willing to give up in the name of progress. I'm not saying progress is a bad thing, but I think it's it's wise to really look at what you're thinking about doing before you just do it. And, you know, I've always been a big supporter of any theaters uh, that are like this, that the community has to get behind it and get it and, and not just be kind of, oh, well, it'll, it'll be fine, whatever it is. You, there has to be people within the community that step up and go, no, we cannot lose a place like this. Uh, because once it's gone, it's gone. You can't rebuild the Paramount. You know, you can you can build a building and call it the Paramount, but you can't recreate the Paramount. And it has to, this, and to think that this was the kind of theater that was across the country. This was what people did for entertainment. I remember as a kid in Winslow, Arizona, going to the theater to see the movies, and or or to see uh, you know a, a band or or whatever. And these were the multi-purpose buildings, really. Uh, I've played in some that they still have the old organs that they played in the, with the black and white movies. And that kind of stuff, it's easy to get uh, forget about it. And, and then all of a sudden somebody goes, well, I wish we had that back. And you can't get it back. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do, but if I lived in or around Bristol, I would be back here again and again. Sometimes this world, it gets hard, it gets tough, it gets mean, and it's good to bathe in beauty sometimes. Sometimes you just need beautiful things. You need to look in a beautiful room. You need to hear beautiful music. You need those emotional things. Um, it's like, it's like um, diving into a lake here and you're, you're gonna come out feeling different. Um, 
I, I couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, it's a beautiful thing, and to not take advantage of it would be a real shame. And to not support it so that your children and the future generations of Bristol, you, you don't want to be the generation that, that drops the baton and that for, for almost 100 years we knew how important Bristol was and then, then this group of people forgot. You don't want to be that group. So come support this. Come on out, hear the people you love in a venue where you can listen on the radio all day long or go to big concerts in, you know, in the bigger cities. You're going to have a moment here with them that you won't forget. I've played crowds of every size, but there's something about you know, going back to country music, the, the roots of country music, it's about the stories. It's about songs that tell stories so many times. And that can get lost in a, you know, in a grand atmosphere of a stadium or a coliseum or even an amphitheater. But when you put it into a, a setting like this, you can do songs that tell stories and, and touch people's hearts. But it works both ways, because when it touches their hearts, it touches our hearts too. So everybody wins in a theater like this when everything's right.